Welcome. This summer I inherited a Surface Pro 2 from my son who's in college. He bought it for his freshman year. He bought a refurbished model and it lasts out his freshman year and it did wonderful service for him as he took it to classes. He could write with a pen on it, use it as a tablet, use it as a computer with its little cover case and keyboard and it was a wonderful purchase. Unfortunately over the summer the solid state drive died. Normally when the solid state drive or the battery dies on one of these Surface Pros it's good for one thing and that's the garbage can. However being the enthusiast I am and a practical person I took a look at it I noticed it has a USB port right here on the left hand side and it has an SD card slot on the right hand side. So I thought, well, let's turn it into a Linux machine. So I went about doing that. And the first thing I wanted to do was to purchase a USB drive with which I could run a Linux distribution off of. And there I chose a 32 gigabyte short USB drive that would fit relatively flush on the left hand side of the Surface Pro. I then went about installing a full installation of a Linux distribution onto that 32 gig USB drive and the operate and the operating system I chose was chaos I originally chose Apper City I've recently changed to chaos I like chaos a little bit better and what it is it's a really unique and different operating system it's 29th or 30th on distro watches uh, popularity list and it is an independent built from scratch distribution and it focuses on the on the KDE desktop and I'm not that huge of a fan of KDE normally because it's pretty heavy and seems slow but this distribution is really fast and it's lean and it doesn't use up a lot of memory in addition if you know anything about KDE you know that it's highly customizable and that's just wonderful in an environment with a touch screen where I might not have a keyboard to use or a mouse to use and lo and behold I installed it and everything works and it works very simply and easily I was able to install chaos using their installer right to the USB drive pop it into the Surface Pro 2 and everything worked I can add programs I have about 20 gigs of usable space to download programs on and in addition I have full access to an SD card so and I've put a 32 gigabyte SD card in there for storage so it turns out to be a wonderful system Google Chrome is in the chaos repository that's just beautiful because Google Chrome works really well with finger controls on a touchpad in addition you can do some of the launchers also work well with graphical icons on the screen to launch different programs from and in a little while I'll put up a sample video of using the Surface Pro from the USB drive and it was just a great practical application of Linux in something that would otherwise be for the garbage can now I have replaced the bad cracked glass on iPads and if I did that for the Surface Pro 2 to try and access the solid state drive and swap that out and put a new one in I really would run the risk of destroying the, the Gorilla screen, the Gorilla Glass and it's a more involved process I think there's something like 50 plus bolts or screws that you have to remove to access to get final access to the SSD I think I probably could do it if I took my time and went really slowly but the machine works perfectly now as an internet uh, browser as a Google Hangouts or Skype machine as a basic tablet and in fact it's better than a tablet it's better than my uh, iPad too in that it's faster it lets me multitask much much better than an iPad does I can run YouTube in the background and be searching Amazon in the foreground I can run Amazon movies just fine and be doing all sorts of other things in addition it does have that four gigabytes of RAM and it is a wonderful use of a machine that would otherwise have to be thrown away and recycled thanks for watching